Hey everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary gameplay video. Really excited for you guys to be here today. This is Marvel Legendary Arcade, and we're gonna be doing bonus level number two. We just we finished up with battle number one, two, three, and four, and now we're on bonus level number two. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be rolling a D6, and we're gonna see which one of these little mini games we get to play. Um, I've got, I, re, I rolled, this, rolled this off camera, but we ended up with rolling a six, and we're gonna be playing Sidekick Memory. So we gotta scroll down here to the bottom here real quick to see what the game is. So we're going to shuffle the sidekick stack, then reveal sidekicks until we, uh, we revealed four special sidekicks with different names. We're then going to shuffle the following into a stack of 12, two standard sidekicks, the, the four different special sidekicks you revealed, plus one extra copy of each one and two standard wounds. Place the cards face down on a four by three grid, then flip over. So it's just a game of memory. Basically, we're going to be flipping over two cards. If they match, we're going to take them or we're going to move them to the reserve support pile. Um, if they're not identical, we flip them face down. I repeat this four more times. So we get five shots to um, to make matches in this game. Then keep one card from each of the pair in your reserve support pile. Put the rest back on the bottom of their original stack. If you've kept any sidekicks, add them below. At the beginning of any battle, you may add any number of them to any player's starting deck. That's awesome. Once you use them in a battle, they return to the sidekick stack as normal, even at the end of the game if you've never played them. If you kept a wound, add it to the list below. Shuffle it into any player's starting deck at the start of the next battle. Okay, that's a little rough right there for sure. But we do have a chance to uh, grab a couple special sidekicks and we can add them to the decks for maybe a difficult um, uh, mastermind and scheme setup we have, things like that. After we do this, we're gonna be moving on to battle number five, but let's do a little si sidekick memory game. game. I'll ship you over to the map and we'll see how this goes. All right, we're here for a little sidekick memory game. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over these cards until we get four unique special sidekicks. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, we got Lila Miller. Let's see a rock slide, a prodigy. That's pretty good. And a throg. All right. So these are the four that are going to be into the little sidekick deck. I'm going to get this all shuffled up and ready to go. Um, let's see. We're also going to be adding, let's see, we're going to be adding, we're going to be adding two sidekick standard sidekicks into the mix. And there's also gonna be two wounds in there as well. And then we'll get copies of each of these into the deck. So I'll get this all shuffled up and we'll see you in just a second. All right, here we go. Let's get this all set up. Okay, here, let's get this shifted over just so it's nice and center. All right, so we get five attempts. We'll just get a little counter here just to mark us. Wait, let's get, what am I saying? I got my big one. All right, we got five shots to see what we can do. So I think we're just gonna do this nice and sy systematically. Okay, so got ourselves a throg and a rock slide. Okay, two greens on the bottom right. Okay, let's try these ones. Got ourselves a sidekick and a wound. Okay, we don't wanna deal with those. Okay, tip number three. Let's go with the middles. Let's go with this one. Oh, rock slide and rock slide. Perfect. All right, great. So we can add that to our little pile here. But then two. Let's do. Let's do this one. Do Lila Miller. Okay. So nothing down here. Let's try this one. Okay, wound. Okay. So at least we know where the wounds are, so we don't have to stress about that. Okay, that's our last attempt. Let's try top left corner. Lila Miller and Lila Miller. Perfect. All right, we got the. So we're going to be able to add a Lila Miller and a Rock Slide to the team whenever we whenever we need to. If the if we think the scheme's going to be going a little too difficult, we can we can tack these into the deck. So excited to see that. I'm going to ship you back over, and we will get the. We'll see you in the next part of the video. Hey everybody, welcome to battle number five in the Marvel Legendary Arcade series. Really excited to get this going. I think we're just gonna jump right into setup. Now we are entering the kind of the more difficult um, battles right now in in this session of arcade. Right now we don't get any choices in our in in our mastermind or our schemes. It's just completely random. Whatever we get is what we are going to get. So why don't we get this all set up? So um, for the mastermind, I ended up randomly choosing the Hydra High Council. This. This mastermind looks really interesting. I haven't played with them before. They're, really, they're focused around the adapt mechanic, meaning that there's actually only four mastermind cards in the stack, but each of them are individual masterminds. When we fight them or master strike is drawn, we're gonna be swapping out that 
swapping out the mastermind for another member of the council. So I'm not going to go through go through what all the cards do in this one, but I'll but I'll read through them when they when they show up in the game. But I mean, I'm really I, I, it's really hard for me to gauge exactly how difficult they're going to be because they're the HP is all different. They all have all these different rules that we're going to have to just really follow. So we're really going to have to focus on you know, what we need to change when each member of the council pops up. But I'm really excited to play with them. I, this adapt mechanic seems really interesting. All right, moving over to the scheme. We did randomly end up choosing Everybody Hates Deadpool. This one looks pretty, this one looks pretty fun. So we're gonna be putting six twists into the villain deck. We have to have at least one Deadpool hero. When a ma uh, special rules, all villains have revenge for their own villain group. So what that means is each villain is going to have their HP increased for each each villain of that group that is in your victory pile. So, for example, example if I have three of the henchmen in my victory pile, any henchman that's in the city is going to get plus three HP. So, that is it's going to be a lot of numbers to keep track of, but I, I, I got confidence that we can do it. When a twist is drawn, each player has to reveal their hand. Whoever reveals the fewest Deadpool cards gains a wound. Evil wins when three villains per player have escaped. So honestly, the special rules is the part that really bothers me. Getting a wound every now and then isn't too isn't too rough, I would say. But, but yeah, I'm a little I'm a little worried about you know having henchmen running around with seven HP. You know, so we'll see how that goes. A little, I'm, honestly, I'm, I am a tad a little nervous about this combination of them. I'm just not really familiar with the Hydra, Hydra high, high Council, and having really high HP villains can lead to a decent amount of escape. So we'll see how that goes. Well, let's get our villain villains all set up. First one we have to add is going to be the Hydra Elite Villain Group. I would say this group does look a little bit more on the difficult side. They focus on placing shield officers into the escape pile, which increases the Hydra level. And pretty much, and all of them do have negative effects when we fight them or when they, actually a lot of them are ambush effects, which can be pretty tough to deal with because no matter what we do, we are, that effect is going to go off. So we'll have to keep an eye out on the, eye on each of these their hp doesn't seem too incredibly high but with that revenge mechanic now uh, we do have to we do have to you know just keep that in mind you know the more more we fight them the more powerful they are going to get the next villain group that we that was randomly chosen is going to be the dark council this this villain group seems really flavorful i'm not i'm not extremely well versed in thor comics and you know his history and everything but i don't, I don't know what it is just looking through these cards just make me feel like oh, there's some there's some history behind her, especially like 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 Laufey. you know, his escape mechanic deals deals especially with the casket the casket of ancient winters. So I feel like there's a really cool story behind this. The, uh, this villain group is villain, villain group does have a decent amount of benefits when we fight them. Two of them are villainous weapons, so it's those are going to increase the HP of any villain who's holding them. And when we fight them, we gain that we gain those cards in, into our hero deck. So like I said, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of high HP villains running around here. So I think that is going to lead to, you know, that can lead to escapes just because I won't be able to, you know, gather enough attack quick enough in order to take them out. And especially with, I mean, it's only two cards, two cards, but these two villainous, villainous uh, weapons do increase their HP by three and four. So that could be a little difficult to handle, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Last one to set up is going to be the henchman, and we're going back to the core box for this one, people. We got the Doombot Legion. I actually really love the Doombot Legion as a villain group. They um, give us a really, you know, you know, KOing our heroes is extremely important, and this one actually gives us a little bit of options. You know, looking at the top two cards of the deck, choosing one of them to KO, putting the, the one right back on top, also gives us just a smidge amount of top deck manipulation in case that matters with the heroes that we have chosen. All right, now that we got this all set up, why don't we look and see what the randomized heroes we we pulled for this game is? And looks like, all right, we got a decent amount, decent heroes here. I'm actually pretty familiar with most of these, which is great. Why don't we start out here with Stingray? This is going to be our, our one Deadpool Deadpool uh, hero card in the deck. So we're going to need to kind of spread his cards out between both players. Hopefully, we, hopefully we can at least have one of them have more of the Deadpool cards in their hand when a, scheme, when a scheme is drawn so that we can at least avoid giving out two wounds each time a twist is drawn. But overall, his cards look pretty decent. Um, they don't provide a ton of attack. So uh, uh, what is it, it's common and is, no, it's two common cards to provide half attacks, which can be nice, especially if we have a, lo have a lot of excessive violence mechanics in the game. Looking at our heroes, it doesn't seem like we have a lot of those, unfortunately. But just in case, his uncommon card does have an excessive violence trigger, which would be good, good, good to uh, good to activate. 
overall he seems pretty decent you know just kind of one of those one of those heroes that you know provides some card draw a little bit of chip damage here and there I've, i don't think he's going to be going out and just you know making big numbers and everything like that but overall i'm pretty i'm, I'm excited i'm excited to use him Next hero we have up is going to be Nurkod, the Breaker of Oceans. I played with him a couple times, and and the thing that's kind of tough about it is he really um, he really flourishes when you're playing on the villain playmat, mainly due to his uh, feed my feed my undersea legions. He if we could defeat one of the villains on the bridge, which usually is the which is the first space on the villain villain playmat, then we get to KO a card. We also gain a new recruit, things like that. It's a really powerful common card, but if we're playing on the regular shield mat, it does it, it does uh, make it just a little bit more difficult in order that to trigger. So other common card does help us move move villains around to the city spaces we want we want. So hopefully we can trigger his other common card. I do actually, his uncommon card is pretty simple. It just deals three damage to either the mastermind or a villain who's on the bri on the bridge, which isn't too exciting having it be that limited. But once again, it just depends on which playmat we're gonna be playing on this game. And does have the thr throw mechanic along with it. I do like that just cause we can kind of stash those, stash that damage for when, when it's needed. So, I, I mean, I'm not like super thrilled to play him, but I think, but, but still, you know, I think he's gonna be a good addition to the team. Next up, we do have Captain America from the core box, and he is just a really solid hero. Um, he's probably in my top five, I would say. I, I, I remember writing down a list of my top five heroes from the core box at one point, but I can't really recall it. But I think Captain America definitely made, made it up there. He's just generically good, provides it provides at least two attack and two recruit with two, both of his common cards. Lots of times it's gonna be providing three or even four most of the time as well. So, I mean, his common cards are super solid. Diamond block is great, providing four damage. Being able to prevent wounds is also really good, especially in this in this uh, game where the scheme twist can be handed out wounds pretty frequently. And what's really great about it is you just have to reveal the card. You don't actually have to discard it, get the effect, and then counter the wound. This is just reveal it, counter the wound, draw a card. I mean, that's just incredible. So, I'm really, really happy to see him on the team. Next up, we have another card from the core box. It is going to be Cyclops love him he, once again probably my top three favorite heroes in the core box i would say his, his his determination card often leads to really early rare card um gaining gaining rare cards are really nice and early as well optic blast is a solid card as well and unending energy not only does it really tie cyclops Cyclops's cards together but there's a lot of instances instances where the game will tell you to discard cards and you and if you have that in your hand you just completely counter it as well there's just a lot of little ni uh, uh, niche moments where unending energy really comes in handy as well so extremely happy to have him on the team last hero up we have is rick jones he seems extremely interesting i haven't played with him yet but having these transform cards seems really really cool actually you know be, being able to being able to just upgrade the cards because looking through the transform cards they all just seem extremely solid a bomb looks incredible i mean smash five discard a card being able to deal five damage right then and there i mean that's i mean five damage is so much in this game honestly so i'm excited to see that he also provides some great abilities in order to card draw and, we, and if we can do a little bit of top deck, deck manipulation maybe using the doom bots to do that we could activate that a little just a smidge more consistency and honestly some of these transform transform triggers don't seem all too difficult in order to uh to do it which is great i actually really like that his seek the nega bands does transform from a recruit card into an attack card exactly what you wanted to be doing you know gaining those recruit cards nice and early and then transferring order over to gaining a lot of attack so looking at our heroes what's really interesting about them is they don't have a lot of requirements rick jones is the only one that really has a requirement of wanting but wanting cards in order to activate his other ones and honestly what i think it's um it's hacktivist card he just needs another tech card and stingray provides that but cyclops is is a great hero he doesn't really require much of himself captain america does the same thing nurkod Ner just just uh matters about heroes in which city space he's in stingray does want a little bit of tech in there as well but once again we have a decent amount of tech cards in order to activate them already so honestly, I don't think we're gonna change any of these, and I don't think we're gonna bring bring any of our heroes in. I think we possibly could find a, a kind of a, you know, bring in someone who could help out. But the thing is, this also gives us an ability to um, to gain to have just more options in terms of which heroes we gain at the end of the, end of the at the end. Before we move in though, we do have the bonus level rewards section. And I'll be honest, I'm a little stressed out about this this combination just because we're gonna have a lot of high HP villains running around. So. Uh, back in our um, 
in our bonus level number one, we did rescue 10 bystanders and we can add up to eight into the villain deck to kind of thin it out. <clears throat> and I decided we're gonna be adding four bystanders to the villain deck. We're just gonna use the standard ones for now. I think we're gonna save the special bystanders for maybe, you know, battle six, seven, and eight, things like that. But I think that's just gonna give us just, just a little bit of nudge in order to, to help us win. All right, in case you skipped over to this section, just as a quick setup guide, we do have the Mastermind is going to be the Hydra High Council. They do deal with the adapt mechanics. So we're gonna be going over each one of those every time the new one shows up. The scheme is gonna be everybody hates Deadpool. That He's gonna be boosting all the attack of all the villains with the revenge mechanic. The villains we have is the Hydra Elite, which is the Hydra High Council always leads, and then Dark Council as well. Just a lot of counseling. We're just gonna be standing around in a meeting basically this whole time. <laughs> the henchman is going to be the Doombot Legion. For our randomized heroes, we have Stingray, Nerk uh, uh, Ner Nerkod, Captain America, Cyclops, and Rick Jones. We didn't replace any of them. We feel like this is a pretty solid team. For the bonus level rewards, we did add, add four bystanders to the villain deck just to thin it out, just to give us a little bit more of a cushion in order to win. So with this all set up, I'm gonna send you over to the game mat, see which, which game mat we're gonna be playing on, see if that is gonna affect uh, Nurkod's abilities and if it's going to nerf him or really have him out but we'll see over the game at and hopefully we can come out with a w on this one all right looks like we're all shuffled up and ready to go we did add four extra bystanders to the villain deck just to give us just a little bit of a cushion you know just, just in case um let's see no i think we're all ready to go uh just just so y'all know i finally put my cards in sleeves so everyone watching the video is just screaming at me can uh can uh be at peace now so <laughs> why don't we get our adapting mastermind setup we are going to choose the first one at random it looks like we got red skull so he actually cannot be the first one so here let's just set you aside just for a second now let's reshuffle we got ourselves a viper so viper is going to get plus one for each hydra villain in the city when a master strike is drawn if there are any hydra villains in the city each player gains a wound and then we adapt uh, and then when we fight them discard any number of cards then draw that many cards and then adapt Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep this updated. It might be a little difficult just because the numbers keep changing and you know the mastermind keeps changing, but we'll see what we can do. All right, let's get our uh, let's get the layer all set up. We are on the the villains playmat for this game. We've got a determination, an Avengers assemble, perfect teamwork, uh, deck chairs on on the Titanic, and optic blast. This is actually a pretty dang solid opening HQ. We got a, even a two coster here, threes and fours. I mean, and some great some great recruit cards here in the beginning. This is this is awesome, really great. And we even have a Deadpool card in here to help us to prevent the uh, these uh, these scheme twists from harming us. So, or at least you know bringing down that damage. So, why don't we have Miles uh, start us out and we'll get this game rolling? All right, starting us out. Looks like we got a five and one. That is the, that is the kind of start we want. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a hive. So uh, it has an ambush effect. Put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile that is going to increase the hydra level. Then each player reveals their hand and discards a card with e with cost equal to the hydra level. So luckily we won't be won't be discarding anything because the hydra level is going to be one. We're going to be putting just a standard shield officer in there. We will get that marked. And uh, and yeah, we don't have to discard because our cost is a zero. So we should be good. All right, we got ourselves a five and one. What do we want to do with that five? I think we're going to optimize here. I think we're going to, let's pick up this determination first. We're going to go down to three. Let's replace that with a Irritated Blood. This is Rick Jones's uh, uncommon card. Deals three damage. And if you have at least five villains in your victory pile, transform this into a bomb and put it on top of your deck. Not, not too bad. I kind of wish I could have picked that up. <laughs> wish that was in the HQ at the beginning. But yeah, then let's spend Let's spend all three of that. Let's pick up this Optic Blast. We'll just kind of focus in on some Cyclops cards here for now. And let's replace that with a uh, Cudgel of the Deep. This is Nurkod's uh, uncommon card. Uh, it has the, has the Throne Artifact ability, so we can put it onto the field and leave it there permanently. And then when we want to throw it, we place it on the bottom of our deck. Whenever we throw this, you get plus three attack, usable only against adversaries on the bridge or the commander or the mastermind. I think it's going to wrap us up with the turn. Passing over to Harrison, looks like he's got an, a five and one as well, which is awesome, exactly what we want, how we want to start. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Master Strike. So if there are any Hydra villains in the city, each player gains a wound, there is no Hydra villain. Oh no, no, this is a, never mind. that is a Hydra Elite. So each player is going to gain a wound. Looks like Harrison got a binding. Actually, they both got bindings. And then we do have to adapt the Mastermind. So let's flip that over.
We got ourselves Baron Helmet Zemo. Um, he gets negative one for each villain in your victory pile. His HP of 16. When a master strike is drawn, each player KOs a Hydra villain from their victory pile or gains a wound, and then it adapts. Each other player KOs a Hydra, and when we fight it, each other player KOs a Hydra villain from their victory pile or gains a wound, and then we adapt. Okay. Okay, it looks like we do have a five and one here to play with. Yeah, while we spent all five of that, let's pick up Irritated Blood. I think it's gonna be a good, really big jump into our, to our um, uh, attack attack numbers. And we got another Irritated Blood, not too bad. I think it's gonna wrap us up. All right, pass it over to Miles. Looks like we get, now we have the three and threes. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a bystander. So the hive is going to capture that. Okay, we do have our three and three. Can't really do too much with it, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to spend all three of that. Looks like we're gonna pick up this Avengers Assemble. Hopefully we can get another three coster down for a Harrison. And we got ourselves at ah, perfect teamwork. So looks like we might be just doing a shield officer for Harrison. We'll see. And we'll pass along. Passing to Harrison. Got a three and three. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another hive. So there is a there is a uh, oh no no. This is the uh no, we're gonna put a shield officer into into here it's going to raise the shield the hydra level up to two and then each player has to discard a card that costs two looks like lo looks like uh, miles is safe and so is harrison so no discarding them all right we got another three and three and unfortunately we don't have much anything in hq we can recruit and nothing in the city we could fight so yeah i think we're just gonna let's just spend all three of that let's just pick up a an officer looks like we got a madam hydra and it's gonna wrap us up all right, passing over to Miles. We got another three and three. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Doombot Legion. Nice. Good to see that. Something we can fight. All right, we got that three and three. Yeah, let's spend all three of that. Let's fight this Doombot Legion. Taking him out. Top two cards of his deck is an Operative and the Optic Blast. We're going to KO the Operative. With this three, I think we're just going to pick up another Shield Officer. I think we can do at least one. And we just got a standard one. And that'll wrap us up. All right, passing it over to Harrison. Looks like we're gonna be recruiting this round. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Doombot Legion. Not too much pressure in the city so far. Okay, we're gonna be discarding this binding in order to play Madam Hydra. That is gonna give us a total of five attack and one recruit. Let's spend all five of this. Let's pick up another Irritated Blood. Just to keep the theme going, right? And we're just gonna be replaced with, ooh, a day like uh, like any other. This is Captain America's rare card. Deals three damage and if activated by an Avenger, another Avenger hero, he gets plus three for each other Avenger hero you played this turn. That's, that is so freaking crazy. I mean, what, you play that, for, get three damage. If there's one other, you get six. Two, other, two others, you get nine. I mean, it's just it's just bonkers good. And it's only seven, you know, you know, there's a big difference between seven and eight in my head. And I think it's gonna wrap us up. <clears throat> All right, passing it over to Miles. Looks like we got a really nice mix of attack and damage this turn, actually. Top card of the villain deck is going to be, ooh, a, uh, oh man, uh, Yarnborn First Axe of Thor. So this is a villainous weapon. It's going to attach to the closest villain in the city and it's gonna give them this plus bonus for their attack. When we fight them, we get to gain this this card as a, you know, in our, in our deck. So this doombot legion is currently going to be at six we're just going to put a little marker we're going to put a six marker on there just so we don't forget okay so we're going to play out here we're going to discard the binding to act to activate the optic blast so that is going to give us a total of four attack and looks like one two three four five recruit not too bad sadly we can't do anything with that attack this turn with that five recruit though we could pick up this uh, cudgel of the deep, but we do want to get one of these in case a scheme twist pops up. It's just not really. I think I'm gonna be irresponsible. Responsible. I'm gonna. I guess that only activates if I'm on the bridge. Actually, the bridge is the first one there, so this is actually pretty dang good. So yeah, let's spend the five. Let's grab cudgel of the deep. And let's replace it with a feed my under my undersea legions. That's pretty dang. That's a pretty nice one actually. It has a little bit of KO ability in there. And I think it's gonna wrap us up for the turn. All right, passing over to Harrison. Looks like we got a four and two. Top card of the villain deck is going to be an alligator trapper. So that's gonna be hooked up to this Doombot Legion. Hopefully we can hit that and we automatically get the patrol ability on that, which would be sweet. 
Not gonna be happening this turn though. We do have ourselves a four and two. Yeah, I think we're, I, th I think now we're, we could be a little responsible. Let's spend all four of that. Let's pick up this uh, deck chairs on the Titanic, and let's replace it with adopted glass. Not too bad. All right, pass it on. All right, passing it over to Miles. Ooh, looks like we got. Ooh, we could probably pick that up this turn. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another Doombot Legion. Let's get everyone shifted over here. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna discard this soldier in order to play the determination. That gives us five, six, seven, eight recruit. Yep, that is so happening. We're going down to one. We are recruiting a day like any other. And now our priority to pick up these two perfect teamworks has just gone up by quite a bit. Awesome, that's sweet. We're gonna be replaced with an Avengers Assemble. Great, another another adventure card. I mean, I mean uh, what is it? Captain America is the only one currently, so we do need to kind of focus on um, picking these up for uh, for Miles' deck now, for sure. All right, it's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing it over to Harrison. Got a decent mix here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Scheme Twist. So each player is going to reveal um, um, a Deadpool card from their hand. Let's see. Looks like neither player can actually reveal a Deadpool, Deadpool hero from their hand, so each player is going to gain a wound. Looks like we got a psychic trauma for um, for Harrison and a wound for Miles. All right, I think we can just play out here. Looks like we got six and four so far. I think we're gonna spend. Let's spend this four. We're gonna grab uh, feed my under undersea legions, and let's get that replaced with a sting of the stingray sting. Not too bad. Gives us three recruit excessive violence. You may KO one card. Uh, one of your cards, uh, or KO one of your cards, or a card from your discard pile. So for Harrison, we can't spend the six. We can hit the Doombot Legion. We don't have any Doombots in our victory in our victory pile, so his HP is going to stay at six there. But yeah, let's just hit this Doombot Legion. We are going to miss out on the uh, Alligator Trigger, but let's let's take out the Doombot Legion. Top two cards are two Troopers. We will KO one of those. Put the other one back on top. We are going to patrol these oh wait no patrol the sewers excuse me so we are going to get another two recruit i keep forget, keep forgetting those are swapped so we do rescue this and then we are going to gain uh the first axe of thor as a card not too bad not too bad of a move we do have two left here i don't think that would have changed my decision all that much actually with if i had the six recruit if i attacked and then and then recruited, but let's take that too. And I think we're just going to pick up a sidekick. Got ourselves a red wing. Not too bad. Let's get wrap us up. So both, both players do have a um, Doombot Legion in their victory piles. So his so the revenge mechanic from the scheme is going to increase his HP to four. It's going to it's going to be kind of tough to keep track of that between both players at the same time. So I'll just I'll just have to double check before I fight every single villain. So all right, passing over to. Uh, Miles, looks like we got a pretty decent hand here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another bystander. So we're gonna let this Doombot Legion hold on to that one. Okay, so I think we're gonna, let's play the the Cudgel of the Deep, but I don't think we're gonna be fighting anything with it this turn because we're we're gonna play an Optic Blast. Let's discard, let's discard this Operative. We'll then play Avengers Assembled and our two gray cards. That is going to give us a total of four recruits and looks like we got ourselves four attacks so far unless i want to throw the cudgel but i don't think i, I don't think i want to do that right now yeah i think what we're going to do is we're going to spend all four of this we're going to fight this doombot legion uh let's see the top two are going to be oh nice a binding and an operative let's get rid of that binding wait is it let's see let me double check yeah kale one of them so yeah let's get rid of that binding Put the operative back on top and we'll rescue this bystander with this four recruit let's pick up a perfect teamwork that's going to help us in increase the amount of adventure cards we have for um for the rare card replaced with feed my undersea legions okay i think it's going to wrap us up and this is going to be staying on, on on board for miles passing over to miles looks like we got more attack than recruit this time top card of the villain deck is going to be a crossbones we're going to put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile then each player gains a wound unless that player reveals as many um, shield heroes 
as the Hydra level. Not too bad. Okay, so um, we're gonna send, looks like a standard one, to the escape pile that is going to increase the, the Hydra level up to three. So each player has to reveal three of those. So uh, Miles is safe there. It looks like Miles is gonna be safe too. He is using the Hydra cards, but they are but they're, they're inter interchangeable with the shield ones. Okay, why don't we play deck chairs on the Titanic? We're gonna draw a card. Looks like we got a shield agent. We can move a villain to an adjacent city space. No true reason to do that. Well, I get you know we can get a little advantage. We'll swap these two to keep that bystander away from from escaping. Looks like we are gonna have a total of four and a half attack and three recruit. Let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, let's spend all four of that. Let's fight the crossbones. That is going to increase uh, these guys' HP up by one on um, Harrison's turn, but gotta start somewhere, right? With this three recruit, I think we're gonna pick up this optic blast here. I think it's it, it's generic enough. It can basically be good in any deck. Let's replace it with feed my undersea legions. I think that wraps up. All right, pass it over to Harrison. Remember that, that cudgel of the deep as an artifact. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Ulik the Troll. Ulk, uh, <laughs> Ulik gets plus two if you are not worthy. And we get to fight, and we fight him with KO one of our heroes. Well, luckily we are worthy this turn, actually. So here, well, let's uh, let's play out here. Looks like we are gonna have three and three, and if we decide to throw this, we can get plus three attack, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, so we, so we are worthy because we have the cudgel. Or is worthy only in your hand? It says I have to have a hero, and I'm assuming this counts as having it. So I think we're gonna we're gonna go forward with that. So let's spend three. Let's fight Ulik the troll, taking him out. We get to KO one of our cards. Let's get rid of one of the operatives. With this three recruit, let's pick up another Avengers Assemble just to increase our the number of Avenger cards we have. Let's replace that with another Avengers Assemble. Got to wrap us up, and we're gonna keep Cudgel down as an artifact. All right, passing over to Harrison. Looks like we'll probably be recruiting this round. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another Doombot Legion. Not too bad. So as of this turn, his HP is four. Let's just keep that as a reminder. And their HP is actually going to be six. Let's see what we got here, there we go. Because I do have a Hydra, Hydra Elite and a Doombot Legion in my victory pile. Does it look like we're gonna be doing a lot of fighting though? I think we're gonna be, let's discard this binding to actually play the Madam Hydra. I don't think we're probably, we're, we're not gonna be playing the Optic Blast this turn. That is gonna give us a total of five recruit to play with though. Let's spend all five of that and let's get Sting of the Stingray Sting. Big recruit boost and another Deadpool card to help us counteract the twists. Replacing that with another Feed My Legions. All right, we've got to wrap this up. And let's actually take all these off for now. Okay, passing over two, two uh, miles here. Looks like we do have Captain America's rare card, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, okay, we're good. Top card of the villain deck is going to be another bystander. Nice, those are coming in handy. Just slowing things down just a smidge. Okay, so to play this optic blast, let's discard this wound here. Let's get this all separated out. We are gonna play the Avengers assembled first. So let's go like this, this, and then this to get, to get that activated here. Looks like this is gonna provide us with four recruits plus the extra two from the operative. So we're gonna go up to six total. In terms of the damage, we got three, six, seven, eight, nine. What, that's insane. Okay, let's take a look at what we got on the field here. So I do have three villains by Victor Pile, so we still can't hit Baron, Baron uh, Zemo at the moment. He's, he's gonna be at 13 HP. This Doombot Legion is actually gonna be currently at five. And then these ones are actually open for right now. So unfortunately, it looks like I can only really hit one. Looks like, yeah, I can only really hit one of these guys. None of these are really a huge threat. Let's, let's just go for the bigger number, I think is what we're gonna do. So let's go down to four. We're gonna fight this hive. We're also gonna rescue the bystander, which is pretty sweet. No effects after that. Let's spend, let's go down to two. Let's pick up this perfect teamwork. Let's replace it with a deck chairs on the Titanic. Let's spend the last two. Let's pick up a sidekick. Got ourselves a skids. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. I guess, we'll see. I guess we were pretty close to actually hitting him because I could have thrown the cudgel. You know what? I'm at four. 
You know what we're gonna do? Let's throw this, because we can hit something on the bridge. So yeah, let's throw this. It's gonna give us five, six, and seven. That's a little bit overkill, but at least now I can go down to two, and I can also fight this Doombot Legion now. Rescuing that bystander as well. Top two cards are an officer and a soldier. Let's get rid of the soldier. I think that's gonna wrap us up for the turn. At least we're keeping this the city nice, nice and uh, managed. Passing over to Harrison. Looks like we've got a decent looking hand here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Master Strike. So let's see what we're gonna be doing with that. Uh, each player KOs a Hydra villain from their victory pile or gains a wound. I think both players can actually do that. Not too bad. So Harrison's gonna KO the Crossbones and Miles is gonna KO the Hive. Kind of a good, good, bad. Um, if we have Baron Helmet Zemo, we want those villains in our victory pile, but it also helps us with the revenge mechanic. So we, we are gonna avoid the wound there, but we do have to adapt right now. So let's set that aside for right now. Let's get a new mastermind set up. Looks like we got a uh, an Arnim Zola. So he gets so Arnim Zola gets plus uh, HP equal to the total printed attack of all the heroes in the HQ. There's a Master Strike. Each player discards two heroes with an attack icon, and then we adapt. If we fight him, we can gain a hero with an attack icon, and then we adapt. Not too terrible. So, like, for example, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is a 13 HP, which is quite a bit for right now. <laughs> um, I think we are going to... Yeah, let's play the Red Wing here. We'll look at the top three, the draw one. So, uh, yeah, let's... Why not? We'll do that, and we'll put these two back, back in, and that'll go back to the Sidekick deck. Let's put out the first axe of Thor as an artifact. Let's play, let's see what we got here. Looks like we're gonna have four attack. And it looks like two recruit, not too impressive here. I could, I could throw this in order to get, to take out the hive. Yeah, why not? Why don't we do that? Let's go one, two, and three. We're gonna throw this. Let's see, when are we two adversary on the bridge this turn? So that's this one. So we won't, be, won't get that won't, won't get that one, but let's go down to two. Let's fight the hive, taking him out, keeping the city nice and empty. With this two recruit, I think we're just gonna pick up a sidekick. Got ourselves a hairball, and that'll wrap us up. All right, passing it over two miles. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a fortune teller, so that so that is going to be captured by the by the mastermind actually. So let's play out cudgel of the deep as an artifact. Let's see, am I gonna, well, there's nothing really to fight and I'm definitely not gonna get any thing from that. So let's discard this perfect teamwork in order to play determination. Looks like we've got three, four, five, six, and another good old seven recruit to play with. It's shamefully that there's not, not any uh, rare cards. Yeah, why don't we, let's just increase, let's just keep on the Captain America plan for right now. Let's grab ourselves an Avengers Assemble. Let's replace that with, there we go, an X-Men United, just one turn too short. Um, this is Cyclops' rare card, deals six damage. And then if it's activated by an X-Men hero, we get plus two attack for each other X-Men hero you play this turn. If I can get that in this deck, I think it would be pretty dang set. So um, with this four, I think we're, I think we're just gonna pick up a de uh, deck chairs on the Titanic. It does draw a card, so it doesn't take up any room. Let's replace that with a Seek the Nega Bands. I think it's gonna wrap us up. All right, let's play out here. Fortunately, we won't, fortunately our, uh, Looks like Miles is the one who's gonna be who's fighting all these because I haven't been able to transform these yet. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Growing Man. Growing Man gets plus attack equal to the Mastermind's Hydra level. Ambush, we get to put a card from the Shield Officer stack into the escape pile. So let's see, the Shield level is currently at three, so he's gonna, he's got three attack for right now. And in terms of Harrison, he does have one Hydra Elite in his um, in his victory pile for right now. So his HP is gonna go up to four. Okay, while we play deck hands on the Titanic, draw a card, got ourselves an agent. Let's play that out. Looks like we do have a total of three recruit, six, seven, eight, technically eight and a half damage. And looks like as of right now, oh yeah, this six, and that is not good at all. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be fighting him for a good little bit here. But we can, let's just go down to four and it looks like we're gonna take out this growing man here. Oh, let's see, oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, that's an ambush effect. So, I mean, we can still fight him, but let's do that first. We're gonna put this put this back out here so the, the Hydra level is currently at four. 
So he was actually at five, actually. So I put that down by one, but we can still fight him and take him out. And this three recruit can't do much for the HQ. So I think we're just going to go down to one, grab ourselves a sidekick. We got ourselves a skid. And I think that's going to wrap us up for the turn. All right, got not too bad of a hand here. All right, top card of the villain deck is going to be a Master Strike. So let's see what we're going to be doing with this one. Uh, each player has to discard two heroes with, an at with attack icons, and then we adapt. Okay, that, that, that definitely is a little bit of a bummer. We're going to get rid of the Soldier, and let's see. I would have to get rid of one of these. That's going to decrease this. That'll give me three and three. I think we're going to get rid of the perfect teamwork. No, wait, no, that's going to give me three damage from that. So no, we're going to get rid of the Optic Blast. And looks like Harrison's going to get rid of hair, discard Hairball and Optic Blast. Okay, let's see what we got here. We are going to play the perfect teamwork into the Avengers Assemble. That is going to give us a total of one, two, and three attack from here. Six going up to nine total. And I just realized we do have to adapt. I won't forget that. And let's just play the operative for that one. But first, let's adapt the Mastermind. Ooh, I forgot we, I forgot we did that Fortune Teller attached there. And looks like we got ourselves a Baron Helmet Zemo. He gets negative one for each villain in your victory pile. Let's see, we gotta remember that. Let's see, how many, what do we got? Currently we have four four villains in our victory pile, so don't think we're gonna be able to fight him. And unfortunately we just have a big goose egg here, so it looks like we're just gonna pass, KOing the wound and moving on. Sad to see that rare card kind of go to waste there. All right, passing it over to Harrison top card of the villain deck is going to be a scheme twist so each player is going to have to reveal a deadpool card whoever has the least is going to gain a wound let's see if uh, miles can pop up at least one fortunately it doesn't look like it's going to happen so each player is going to gain a wound both are going to gain just standard wounds well not much i can do this turn i do have to spend five in order to get rid of this so i think all we're going to do is we're just going to play the first axe of thor as an artifact and i think it's going to wrap us up so I did just, I did just, uh, I just realized I had skids in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this to prevent the wound that Miles, that Miles gained. I guess that prevents it. So technically it should stay there and I get to draw two cards. So with that in mind, let's, let's get Miles started out here. Okay. Got that set up. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Cinder first giant queen. If we fight her and we are worthy, we get plus two recruit. And looks like we are going to be worthy if we want to fight her this turn. So let's see, we're going to play out Cudgel of the Deep for as an artifact. And in terms of recruit, looks like we have one, two, three colors. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight. And ooh, look at look at what just happened to cost eight. And we do have one attack from the op this operative. Uh, yeah, we're going to spend all eight of that, and we're going to be picking up an, an X Men United. That's pretty dang sweet. Placing it with a deck chairs on the Titanic. Nice. We got some extremely strong rare cards in Miles' deck right now. All right, passing over to Harrison. We do have the first axe of Thor out. Top card of the villain deck is going to be oh man, uh, Laufe, father of Loki. So he does have an ambush effect. Uh, Laufe captures the casket of eternal winters from any villain. Mastermind, players control, or discard pile. So I don't think we have that anywhere. I haven't seen that card yet. Any villain, mastermind, players control. Yep, yep, it doesn't have that. When he escapes, if Laufey holds the casket of Ancient Winter, uh, say Fimble Winter has come, and each player discards down to three cards. It's, kind of, it's just kind of a funny little thing there. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So we still have the first axe of Thor out here. While we play deck chairs, Deck shares the Titanic draw card. We got ourselves a Sting of the Stingray Sting. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we are going to have a total of, let's see, it looks like three, four, five, and six recruit. Let's see, six recruit. We do have one, two, three, and four and a half. Four and a half damage. And we can throw the first Axe of Thor and go up to three. Harrison doesn't have any of the Dark Councils, Dark Council in his victory pile as of right now. So we could actually fight that. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna we're gonna throw this. Increasing our attack to four, five, six, and seven. 
We're gonna spend all seven of that actually to activate the excessive violence here. We're gonna fight him, take him out. Excessive violence is gonna, gonna trigger. We can KO one of our heroes or one from our discard pile. We're gonna KO the, psych, the psychic trauma. And actually that is gonna activate Feed My Undersea Legions. So when we do that, we're going to KO one of your cards or a card from your discard pile. Dude, I will take it because we have a wound in there as well. Perfect. And we're going to gain a new recruit. And let's see if we also, we're going to be gaining actually an actual new recruit. That works out pretty good. With, with this six recruit, what do I want to do here? I think we're going to, let's spend all but two of that. Yeah, let's pick up a, let's just pick up a deck, uh, deck chairs. Let's replace that with a Hacktivist. Yeah, not too bad. Let's spend the last two of that to pick up another sidekick, another new recruit. And I think it's gonna wrap us up. Passing over to Miles, looks like we've got a fistful of non-gray cards, which is sweet. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Scheme Twist. All right, I had a small technical difficulty there, but we are back here. All right, let's see, did I? Oh yeah, okay, so we drew, we drew, we drew the Scheme Twist. Looks like Harrison, uh, Miles can actually reveal one. Fortunately, My uh, Harrison cannot, but he does have a skids in hand. So he is going to, if any player, yeah. So he's gonna discard the skids to prevent the wound that he would gain and draw two cards. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's play deck hands on the Titanic. We're gonna draw a card. Got ourselves an operative. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna play the determination. We're actually gonna discard the soldier. So I don't think we're going to be needing it here. It looks like these two are going to be providing us one, two, three, and four a piece. So let's start with that. We got ourselves four and four. We're going to go up to five for the deck hand, and then go up another five for this. No way. Three, four, five. Yeah, five. So we're going to go up to nine recruit. Not too bad at all. Well, let's spend all five of that and let's fight Cinder. Hold on, let me double check. Dang, I did have I do have a dark cancel in my victory pile, so her HP is actually at six six. So I should have kept I should have kept that that uh soldier. Dang, that's okay. We're just gonna leave that there. We're just gonna accept it, and move on with my life. Um, let's see. I think we have a chance of transforming forming this. Yeah, we got plenty of plenty right now. So yeah, let's go down to five. There we go. Let's pick up uh, seek the nigga bands. Let's replace that with a pull of the tide. And then with this five, man. Yeah, I think I just need to, my KO abilities aren't all that crazy. I guess these are actually the way I KO things. So yeah, let's go down to one. Let's pick up, let's pick up this feed, feed the other seed legions. Yeah. And let's replace it with an optic blast. Not too bad. All right, that'll wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Looks like uh, we got that two extra uh, card draw from skids, but didn't seem to do too much. <laughs> Top card is going to be a Doombot Legion, not too bad. All right, let's discard the binding. That's gonna give us two, three, four, and five, or five recruit, excuse me. And it looks like we just have two damage. We can't even hit the Doombot. Yeah, let's go down to one. Let's pick up another one of these uh, Feed the Legions and let's replace it with an, a, pull, uh, a pull of the tide. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. <clears throat> All right, passing over to Miles. Got a decent little hand here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a growing man. So we just have an ambush effect. We're gonna take a shield officer and put it in the escape pile. That is gonna increase the uh, Hydra level up to five. So he is go currently going to have a five attack as a base. Remember, we do have to always keep, keep revenge in mind. All right, so why don't we, let's play out deck chairs on the Titanic to draw a card. Got ourselves a Seek the Negabands, not too bad. We can, we can swap some stuff around. Yeah, sure, let's just swap these two for now, why not? Uh, let's play Let's play Seek the Negabands here. Let's see, let's keep tracking this. We got ourselves one attack and two, two recruit right now. Top card is going to be a Skids that does not cost three or more, so, so he's not going to transform this turn, which is just fine. Let's play ourselves out a perfect teamwork and a Avengers Assemble that is going to give us a total of one, two, three, four, and five each. So we're going to go up to seven recruit and six damage. Not too bad. Um, and yeah, let's discard one of these operatives in order to play the Optic Blast and the operative. We're going to go up to eight and one, two, and three. We have nine attack. 
terms of our revenge, we got we have three Doombot Legions in there. So he, this this one is actually going to be at six HP, and she is also going to be at six HP. So once again, unfortunately, we can only fight one of these, but this one does give us a benefit. I guess this gives us plus two. And are we worthy? We are actually not worthy, unfortunately. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to three. Let's fight another Doombot Legion. Top two cards, it's a Skids and an Operative. Let's KO the Operative. With this eight, let's go down one, two, and three. Let's pick up an Optic Blast here. Since we do have that X-Men United in there, we want as many of these as we can. And let's replace it with a, a uh, super powered swimsuit. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, why not? Let's let's spend two. It draws us a card, doesn't take up any room. So let's do that. Let's replace it with a seek of the nega the nega bands. And I think I'm just gonna spend two. We're just gonna grab ourselves a sidekick, got ourselves a rock slide. And that's actually gonna be pretty nice with uh, with revenge out there, actually. I think that'll wrap us up. Alright, passing it over to Harrison. Looks like we got a little card draw going on here. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a crossbones. So we're going to put a shield officer into the escape pile that is going to increase the Hydra level up to six. And then let's see. Oh, no, right here. Then each player gains a wound unless they reveal that many shield cards. It looks like I can only reveal three. So it looks like he's going to be gaining a wound. And looks like Miles will get a wound, but he does have a skid in hand. So I think he's gonna discard that in order to draw two cards. But Harrison here is going to gain a wound. He got himself a standard one. Okay, let's play out Let's play out both of these. That is gonna give me a total of two damage. We get to draw two cards. It's gonna go back to the sidekick stack. We got ourselves two operatives. Not that exciting. We're gonna go up to three recruit by playing these. Then we're gonna play, let's see, do I have enough? I only got four villains so far. Oops. So let's put out the first axe of Thor. This is gonna give us a total of, let's see, it's gonna give us four. So we're gonna go up to six total damage. Let's see what we can hit here. So let's see, we have two Hydra Elites in our victory pile. So his HP is gonna be up to six. His will be five, six, seven. And I have one Dark Council. So that one's gonna be up to six as well. Let's see, am I worthy? I am worthy, so I could hit the fire giant to get another additional two. Doesn't look like there's anything in here that I really, really want. So yeah, I think we're gonna spend six of this and we're gonna fight crossbones. Let's see, I now have five in there. At least five I'm assuming I'm assuming that activates when I play it, so that isn't going to transform. Let me know if that I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't I doubt that this transforms once I get five in there. But with this three recruit, let's pick up this uh, Hacktivist that's damaged, and I do have a decent amount of tech cards in here. Let's replace it with a Diving Block. This is Captain America's uncommon card. It deals four damage, and if I would gain a wound, I could discard it, or I can reveal it, actually, and draw a card instead. That is, that's super sweet right now. That we're, we have both, both players are gonna want that. All right, passing over to Miles, and woof, we got, we got some fire in our hands here for sure. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Gorgon. Uh, we're gonna put a shield officer um, from the stack into the escape pile, then check the Hydra level. You can't play heroes of that cost this turn. Ooh, that is a bit rough. Uh, so his, let's see, so we can't play, it's gonna go up to seven. Actually, I don't think that's that bad. That's not too bad, I think. So we can't play seven costers and he's eight. So we should be all set and ready to go. So let's see, we're definitely gonna play the determination. Let's discard the operative. In order to play that, let's give us three recruit. Let's play X-Men United. That's going to give us six. It's going to be activated. We're going to go up to eight damage on one card. How freaking cool is that? Then let's play Avengers Assemble. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, and eight. We're going to go up to eight recruit. Then let's play the last two. We're going to go up to ten and nine. Unfortunately, I still don't think we can hit the Mastermind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his HP is at 11 as of right now. So currently, Miles doesn't have any Hydra Elite cards in his victory pile. So let's see, I think what we're gonna do, let's just take out Gorgon for right now. It's gonna go down to three, take him out. And it doesn't look like we're gonna use any of that, but we are gonna go down to four. We're gonna pick up this diving block for sure. Let's replace it with an unending energy. Oh, I really, this is a Cyclops' uncommon card, deals four damage. 
Card effect makes you discard this uh, this card. I can return it back to my hand. That's an incredibly strong card. I definitely want to pick that up soon. Yeah, let's spend these four. Let's pick up this um, Undersea Legion. Just more attack cards, and actually, allow, that's actually going to be our kind of our KO ability. Oh wait, let me think. I did fight Gorgon, and I had an Undersea Legion in my hand, so I do get to, do get to KO a card from my discard hand or discard pile. Let's just KO one of these operatives, and that does mean we get to gain a sidekick. Got ourselves a new recruit. Yeah, okay, I think, oh, let's get that replaced. Let's replace it with Avengers Assemble. All right, let's gonna wrap this up. All right, passing over to Her uh, Harrison. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Doombot Legion. Not too bad. Okay, so we do, do get to play this Irritated Blood. It's gonna give us three damage, and it is going to officially transform into an A-bomb. Let's get ourselves an A-bomb here. That was my dryer, by the way. Uh, we are gonna get this A-bomb here, so we're gonna swap this out. And it's gonna go to the top of my deck. Okay, then we're gonna play out Feed, Optic Blast. Let's discard, the, let's discard an Agent. Play that out. So we are gonna have one Recruit, and we do have ourselves three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go up to nine attack. Dang, so looks like we can only fight one thing. So his HP is gonna be at four based on my victory pile. And hers is going to be at six is six. So it doesn't look like I can hit two things. I have, what was I? I think I have three. Yeah, I have three. So he's at five, six, seven, eight. He's at eight HP. You know what? Let's just go, let's go down to one. Let's take out, let's take out Growing Man. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over two miles. Looks like, okay, it looks like we got some action in hand. We got the. Captain America's rare card. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Doombot Legion. Let's get rid of those for right now. Okay, let's see. We're, how do we want to do this? Let's see. So we're going to play out Avengers Assemble. Perfect teamwork. A day like any other. We do have Cudgel of the Deep as an artifact. We can go like this. Let's see what we got here. So, this, so these are going to give, provide us five apiece, which is pretty awesome. And this is going to give us three, six, and nine. It's gonna go up, bring us up to 13. Looks like we definitely started hitting the mastermind. We're gonna go up to 14 and six off of this. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna spend all six. Let's pick up unending energy. Exactly what we want. Let's replace it with a hacktivist. And let's see, what are you, what's your HP at? HP is currently at 10. Yeah, we're gonna go down to four easily. We're gonna fight Baron Helmet Zemo. A couple, so let's see. So we have his fight effect. Each each other player KOs a Hydra villain from the victory pile or gains a wound. Harris can oblige pretty easily. So let's see. So that's all taken care of. He is then going to adapt. So uh, this card is going to be out, and then we have to pick a new one of these new masterminds. Looks like we got Red Skull. Red Skull is going to get plus one attack for each for each two Hydra levels. So right now he's currently plus three, so he's at 10. Master Strike, each player is gonna KO one of their non-gray heroes. And when we fight him, we have to KO one of our gray heroes. We're also going to rescue a fortune teller. We get to say uh, zero or not zero, reveal the top if it is that, if it's that, we get to draw it. I'm gonna say not zero. Got ourselves an operative, so we will not be drawing that. And let's see, I don't think I can hit the Doombot Legions. Yeah, I have, I have four in my victory pile, so we definitely can't be fighting either of these. So I think we're just gonna, and we did not throw the cudgel actually, so we're gonna keep that right there. Yep, we're gonna keep it right there and we will move on. All right, passing over to Harrison. Looks like we've got a decent hand here, I would say. Top card of the villain deck is going to be a Ulick the Troll is gonna get plus two unless, unless we are, if we're not worthy. Looks like we are gonna be worthy though, which is pretty awesome. Okay, it looks like we're gonna play out both our deck chairs on the Titanic. That is gonna give us one and a half and another one and a half. So let's give us three damage total. We get to draw two cards. Cut ourselves under C and a operative, or an agent. Let's play out Feed My Legions. Let's go up to, go up to five attack. Then we are gonna play A-Bomb. We're gonna discard this binding and we're gonna gain ourselves a five attack going up to 10. And then let's play out the rest of what we got. We're gonna go up to 11 and two recruit. So yeah, we're gonna go down to one. Let's, let's hit Red Skull here. 
So the fight effect, KO one of your great heroes. Not too bad. Let's get rid of this operative. And then we are, we do have to choose our new mastermind. Looks like we got Arnim Zola. Uh, let's see, plus, plus attack equal to the total printed cost, attack cost of all the heroes in the HQ. So right now, actually he's only plus two. So he's only got six, seven, eight attack. Let's see if we can keep, just keep track of that. We're above eight right now, not too bad. Let's spend this too. Let's just pick up a sidekick, got ourselves a boom, boom. One of my favorite sidekick cards actually. And that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Miles and boom. Okay, whoa, okay. We definitely have some fire in our hands. We do have the cudgel from last turn. The top card of the villain deck is going to be a Master Strike. So let's see his Master Strike. Each player discards two heroes with attack icons. That might be a little rough. Oh, no way. Oh, oh that's so sad. Oh my gosh. Oh, geez, that was painful. Okay, looking at Miles' hand, looks like I only have one card just to recruit. Ooh, City all of a sudden looks a little dangerous here. Well, let's see what I could do. I do have three attack. I could hit him, but actually, yeah, so he is. I am worthy. And let's see, do we have a Dark Council in our victory? I do have one, so unfortunately, we actually won't be able to hit him. So we'll just keep that for now. But in terms of a recruit, I guess, let's just card the... We'll see, let's play these two first. That's gonna give us one, two, three, three piece, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna discard that to play this. So we're at a total of nine recruit. Do I actually want to, do I even want to spend that? I don't know if I want to. You know what, let's just pick, we'll pick up a sidekick. Got ourselves a rusty, rusty firefest Collins, but I don't know if I want to recruit anything. I want to keep his HP nice and low. And I would say Avengers Assemble is the only thing I want, but at this point, at this point, I think we're just gonna stick with what we got. Is that the right move? Let me know. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card is gonna be a Cinder Fire Giant Queen. All right. Well, we don't have much in terms of we don't have anything in attack, so I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna dodge this. So let's let's replace that. Once again, there's really nothing I want in the HQ is the problem. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Can't really, can't really turn this into anything. This does turn into, um, this does turn into something with attack. So yeah, why don't we just play these two? It's gonna give us four recruit. Let's pick up a Seek the Negabands, replacing it with a Avengers Assemble. So at least we didn't change his HP. Yeah, I think we're just gonna wrap it up there. All right, passing it over to Miles. Top card is going to be a Doombot Legion. So. Uh, the fire giant is going to escape. Let's see what to KO card. I think we're gonna KO this just so we don't change the HP. Could go down even. Placing it with a super powered swimsuit. So his HP is actually just gonna go down to seven. Okay, I think we can, yeah, we should be able to hit him this time. Let's play a diving block. Let's play this. It's gonna give us a total of six damage. Okay, good, we do have a soldier to Give us that seven. Whew, that was close. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't think we, I don't know if we want to play those this round. There's nothing really I want to recruit. This is the only thing I might want to recruit, but but no. Let's just spend that seven. Let's hit our Aram Zola. And last one is going to be Viper. She gets plus one for each Hydra villain in the city. So so far there actually isn't any. So our HP is just at nine. I think that's going to be all we need to do. So let's, let's see. Yeah, no, I don't have enough damage to save this so let's just pass it on over and just to keep track of this we do have one escape villain at this point all right passing over to harrison we've got we've got something going on here we'll see what happens top card of the villain deck is going to be a scheme twist so each of us so we're going to do the the deadpool thing he's got one and looks like he doesn't have any but he uh, he's got fire in his in his hand next turn for sure so that mean that means uh that means he's actually gonna be gaining a wound. So Miles is gonna gain a binding. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's play deck chairs. It's gonna give us one attack. One and a half really. Drawing a card, got ourselves a boom boom, nice. Plus four and gain a wound. Let's see. Well let's play a bomb. Let's discard this agent. In order to gain five attacks, it's gonna bring us up to six. You know, I think we got now we got we got this. We're just gonna play boom boom. 
go up to go up to 10. We're going to spend all but one of that. We're going to fight Viper for the win. Not too bad. We are going to get a wound off of that, but that's just fine. Pretty solid gameplay here. Man, a lot of numbers we had to keep track of. The, the, the revenge the revenge uh, mechanic really just really messed with my head through that, all, through that whole thing. But uh, no, pretty dang solid gameplay. That was pretty dang awesome, actually. God, Her Miles' deck was thick. I mean, look at this thing. This is crazy. I mean, the sleeves make it bigger. I mean, I'm not used to playing with sleeves, so. But yeah, I just feel bad. He had such a he had such a jam packed. Oh, not that one. Let's see. No, I thought he had a jam packed. He did have a jam packed hand next turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Look at that. That would have been pretty good. Well, anyways, thanks for joining me for this gameplay video. I'm gonna should be back over to the website. We're gonna see how these results affect our future in the Marvel Arcade uh, series. So I'll see you over there. All right, all wrapped up with the game. I'm glad we were able to win it. Felt really, really good. I don't know, that, I actually really liked all of our heroes, honestly. Uh, Captain America and Cyclops, just, they just do work. They just slap, they do really awesome. I really enjoyed playing with Rick Jones. I thought he was extremely fun, you know, being able to try and, you know, get these heroes transformed so that we can increase the, just the, the amount of damage we can out, we can put out in, in the deck was really, really awesome. Stingray was good. He did exactly what I thought he was going to do. And, and Nurkot actually was, was pretty solid. I, I wish we were able to KO a lot more heroes with, with his common card, but heck, you know, got to, you know, do, do what you got to do. All right. To wrap us up, we do, we do get to unlock two of our heroes. I counted up all the cards and these are the two we were able to, we are, are now unlocked and in our group we had captain america as the first hero that was unlocked and the next one is going to be cyclops so bringing in some core some core heroes into the roster which is really great our total vp for the game was 73 points not too bad that was about how that's that's kind of on par with what we're going going for right now why don't we just take a look over at our current roster at the moment i think we got a really nice setup here we got captain america cyclops punisher over here we have Spider Woman, Captain America, Falcon, which is really cool. Maybe we can get those two together to have a nice little, you know. <laughs> we also have Miss America, you know. Who knows? Maybe that'll make a decent team right there. We also have Quake and Mockingbird, a great two team two team combo there that we can bring in. I'm, I'm, I'm actually this is probably probably my, my favorite two heroes that we've unlocked so far. And then we have also Strong Guy and Richter. Decent team here. We're going to be moving into a battle number six next time. I'm really excited to get to that. It's kind of the same setup as if I'm recalling correctly. It's going to be a random mastermind and a random scheme. So I think that's going to be battle six, seven, and eight is is just a completely randomized game, basically, and with a little bit of hero selection. So anyways, we'll see you next time for battle number six. Thank you guys for joining me so much. Had a great time. Hope you guys have a wonderful night.